What is up everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with another Warframe Guide video. And in this video, we will be looking at the Umbral Vault Prime Hybrid. And what that means is we'll look at different Warframe abilities that would definitely work with Umbral Vault. Now, before I even get started with the video, I just want to say that my builds on Vault is pretty much personalized just for me. To the point where I'm actually comfortable with the builds that I made. Especially the first build. Now, if you guys don't like the build, that's fine. I'm just sharing my ideas with you guys. And I'm going to show you guys, of course, the demo of the build as well. Before we get started with the build of Vault, I'm just going to say that I use Galantine Prime on this uh, Warframe and only this Warframe. So I do not have any attack speed mods whatsoever. I only have a Riven mod straight up for Vault here. That's electricity, of course. So just keep in mind about that. And when it comes to this build, obviously just personalized just for me. And, you know, there's different builds for you guys here. I'm just going to show you guys only the Warframe build and not the weapon build. So when it comes to the melee weapon or any weapons you guys use, you guys can use whatever weapons you guys want. Starting off with the first build, I only have two builds for you guys, but starting off with the first build, this is the speed build or the what we call the attack speed build here. So basically what this is, is it allows you to attack super fast and also do a lot of damage in return. So I have Eternal War here or Warcry here. And this gives me the armor increase of 161 with speed increase of 96. Now I do have attack speed on speed as well. So this basically makes me attack super fast, but I know there is a cap somewhere around there. So this is basically a max attack speed or something like that. And when it comes to it, it's actually pretty not bad. It's actually really nice. Also the reload speed on the speed ability here also helps with the gun. So if I'm using electric shield here, which is pretty decent because of the distance um, range here, it's not that bad, it's only two meters, but when it comes to the extra damage as well as the duration, well, extra damage doesn't change at all, but the duration of it is actually pretty not bad as well. So I can use all four of these abilities, including the first ability for Shock Trooper. That's the extra uh, damage for electricity. So I do corrosive damage on here most of the time. So I'm pretty much an anti, uh, anti grenier uh, type of build here. When it comes to it, I have Arcane Guardian here for the Fury. So this is a straight up melee build orientation. Arcane Guardian for the armor. Now, when you guys are looking at this build, you guys were thinking, okay, Tony, there is no survivability at all right here. I'm not, going to, I'm not going to say this you guys, when it comes to this build it's pretty risky but the reward is pretty great because you do a lot of damage, you do attack speed, uh, increase, uh, it's really fast everything but when it comes to it, the Eternal War does help you with the armor so it should help you survive in certain situations but if you guys just sleep on your Warframe you're going to die for sure so you got to do have to play a little smart for this build but it's pretty rewarding because obviously it's not going to be boring. Uh, but when you guys do need the survivability on this, you guys can replace all your secrets for the adaption or vitality if you guys want. Or you guys don't want to use shock trooper, just replace that with the adaption or the vitality, whatever you guys want. But when it comes to this entire build, it's actually pretty not bad. And when it comes to this Exos mod slot, Rush is actually pretty good on this build. So I just added there. Alright, so here is the second build. And this build's a little bit uh, weird, but it's, it works definitely well. Uh, this is mostly for discharge and the electric shield. So when you guys are doing Ireland Hunts, this is definitely Electric Shield uh, okay. It's a little bit okay. Obviously, speed is a bit better when it comes to Ireland Hunts because the duration on Electric Shield is a lot better, or more, actually. So, But this actually still works with Electric Shield, and this also works with Discharge. So this build allows you to stay alive while you guys are nuking. But obviously, when it comes to Discharge, it only does electric electricity damage. So you can't really go against Greeners that well on this one. So this is more of an anti-corpus, but with the Breach Surge, this might make Grenier's a little bit weaker or easier to kill, but not to the point where you can actually nuke them in one shot. You will still do a lot less damage, so I highly recommend using this build only on Corpus. As this starts all about Corpus and not for Grenier's because it does electricity damage. But when it comes to the mods here, it's actually pretty much straightforward. Energy conversion for the discharge as well as the electric shield. Speed if you guys want to, the speed is not that bad. It has a duration of 15.5, but it's still not that bad. And for Breach Surge, well, you gotta have this. I mean, you do a lot more damage with Breach Surge on here. If you guys are replacing Breed Search with Thermal Center for a nuke, it's not that good. Uh, you do actually do heat damage and electricity damage, but the procs are kind of weird. So you do do some heat damage, but if you're going to go up against Grenier's, uh, definitely Thermal Slender for the armor stream. But otherwise, Breed Search is pretty good for all around her. And when it comes to the mods, again, Cap Capid Sentence? I don't know how to say that. When it comes to this mod, it's up to you if you guys want to have this. I think I just have it just for survivability because it's actually pretty not bad for the shields. And so with the, uh, what do you call it, the shield shield gating uh, added now, so might as well add this augment mod here. But if you guys don't want to have this, you guys can replace this for survivability again. Like let's say you guys want to have adaption, go ahead. Vitality, go for it. Shields, uh, it's up to you really, or armor, whatever you guys want. 
And when it comes to the aura mod, it depends on what type of damage you guys are doing or what type of weapon you guys are u using. So rifles, rifle amps, snipers, the uh, dead eye, steel charge, whatever you guys want, you guys can pull whatever you guys want here. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. Growing power also is pretty good. And then when it comes to the collection drift mod, you guys can put power drift on here if you guys don't want to have collection drift. Cutting drift is also pretty nice for the range. All right, I'm gonna do a brief demonstration on the first build. Obviously these guys are all huddled up, so it's a lot easier for me to kill all of them pretty quickly. I'm just gonna show you guys anyway, so I'm just gonna cast all of them without, well, without any patience here. I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm going to use the melee attack here. Now keep in mind, these guys are level 175s. So obviously I'm getting knocked down. I don't have the god mode on. Just, I'm just gonna show you guys how, how much how survivability I have here. It's not that bad. I mean, as long as you guys are killing and not sleeping, you, go, you should be fine. And if you guys are having trouble, electric shield is also pretty nice. But then again, you guys can just change my mods to survival mods if you guys need to. I almost died there, but you know what? That took that take the cake. So in a room full of grenadiers attacking me, I pretty much almost survived. All right, so I want to show you guys the second build. And this is the discharge and shield. So obviously the shield range is like that. It's not that bad. It's good enough to shoot stuff. And when it comes to the abilities, which is pre-surge and fourth ability. Well, I'm just going to show you guys the fourth ability's damage as well as his potential, what he can do with this amount of enemies close together like this. There you go. Okay, so that's the damage it does. It's like 25% done already. I don't know what happened there. Let's try that one more time. Not all of them are. It's not that bad. Okay, so that's how much damage it does. Now we got the Breed Surge now. So I'm just going to show you guys the range on this. So this range, just the range, and then, well, yeah, it doesn't reach everybody. That's that's okay. And then we cast the Volt thing. Now all the things are ticking. Now obviously these guys are alloy armor as well, so they will take less damage, but... When it comes to like let's say anti moas, you would definitely kill them at 175. You would this you would decimate them without even using breed surge. That's what I'm gonna say. So with this build, you should be okay with the nuking as well as CC because this is mostly made for corpus and as and some CC here and there and we're using shields and such. So it's not that bad. Just cast it constantly with the breed surge on. That's how much damage it does basically. I wouldn't really recommend on Steel Path that much on this build because, well, it's more made for CC. And that is it for this video, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, you guys, peace out.